Look, guys, pre-fight preparation. I ain't talking to you guys over there. I'm talking to you guys over here. Pre-fight preparation. You must understand prior to your fight, there's such a variation of things that you must take into consideration. First of all, this question was asked by one of my coaches in the Master Boxing Academy on Facebook. This is key when understanding the key principles when it comes to warming a fighter up prior to a fight. He, the question was, how long prior to a fight should you get a guy or should you begin with your guy's warm up? My moniker is always this, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. There's so many elements that it comes to prepping a body, getting a person's mind for ready for a fight. Level four, four tiers. Soon as you get to the facility, it should not be because there are fights that's gonna end early. You gotta be prepared just in case you get the call unless you're the main event and your name is Floyd Mayweather and you run stuff. It doesn't matter what time, but this is the key. You don't have a designated time to fight. We've been on many fight cards where the fights ended early and we had to come out. So one of the things you wanna keep in mind is when you're prepping the fighter, once you get them wrapped and you know it's gonna take 45 minutes minimal to get that done and this out the way, you don't have to worry about it. You gotta get your gloves signed, you gotta work. So you gotta do your warm up. So you want him to have the mental algorithm. First, you gotta make sure his heart rate is calm. So all of these little things that you have to have already in place before you even start the warm up already need to be front and center. And then you get him prepped, his ligaments and stuff prepped because he's gonna be striking hard. So he goes through his PT warm up. And for those who do not understand PT warm up, you have to go up here and sign up on the Master Boxing Academy online. So for coaches, this thing, these are the things that give you dire straight information that layer every layer every single echelon of coaching fighter preparation is essential adonis stevens is in a, a hospital right now in a coma certain things man are unpreventable but be prepared stay ready so you do not have to get ready so these are the key principles when it comes down to this and prayers go up to this guy because he laid it in the ring for you are entertainment. Don't forget that. Send prayers out to Adonis Stevenson and his family and hope for his full recovery and that he comes out of that coma. Next, our agenda is to make sure your fighters are ready. Today we're getting ready to do something very, very intense. We're about to spar inside of this ring that I'm standing in right now and it's gonna be sheer professional level violence at a very, very high level. Cause you see how we skill, I mean, how we train and we operate. And my guys, we stay ready so we don't have to get ready. And what you see right now is they're prepping to walk the floor and they're doing what we call the grunt walk. And what that is, is that saying we going in the paint and it's gonna be a very, very, very violent day. So only greats did it. You're talking about guys like the Archie Moores, the, the Georgie Bentons of the world those eras, Joe Lewis, understand that vernacular. And when we get in that paint, we close inside that middle line. It is true, true, you better, I tell guys when they walk into this gym, make sure there are no holes in your game before you get inside of this ring. Because if there is, they will be exposed and you may position yourself to be in a lot of trouble. We don't want that. We want even balanced competition but preparation, first your ligaments, through our PT warm-up, like I tell you, make sure that you have a designated place where you get quality, solid information to be guided as a coach, because if not, you will be somewhere on the short end of the stick. Then you go through similar little algorithms, defensive postures, getting the guy, making sure he has all his rhythms that he'll use that night. And his power rhythms, his fluid rhythms, his brake rhythms, his lateral rhythms, and then his power rhythms, because you're gonna need them all in place. That's key, and that takes a good period of time, so you don't push your athlete, warm them up gradually. They can call in for the fight 45 minutes early, you ready. But the thing about it is you have not overtrained him, and he's ready no matter what point in time of that night. 
you go into that fight. So like I said, my moniker, as I said it before, stay ready so you do not have to get ready. And that's my message for you guys today. So there's so many things to cover, making sure, and then I'm gonna give you a point on how to really operate with this punch logistics. Make them walk through the basic ones, twos, threes, body shot, body shot, after he gets his rhythms and stuff down. These things are extremely vital. Once he has it, then you can turn it on. They'll give you the cue when it's two fights before your fight and you're ready. You can start turning things up a little bit more. And then when he's ready to go, he's ready to go. He's in fight mode, tier four, what we call it. That's all I got for right now. I had to deliver that message and to let you guys know everything on the website. For you guys who are coaches, it's 50% off. It's the holiday. Go up there and do what you need to do. Whether it's getting in an academy, getting the Philly shell, footwork. If you got to work on your defensive prowess, counter punch, you need to learn how to do those things. It's time. Make sure you click the link. I put it up there above. I want to make sure you cover. Even though we're getting ready to get into fisticuffs for real, I make sure you guys are covered and I, you guys have a blessed holiday. Be safe. Be out of here. Master Boxing, where you get your masters in boxing. Peace. Share.